When we explored the great house of Pueblo Bonito, we came across a trail to a cemetery, something we did not expect. So let's go explore who and why this cemetery exists in this sacred valley. So there's Pueblo Bonito, and here's the graveyard right here. And then these are some other ruins. Um, I haven't come up to the sign, but I'm pretty sure that these are um, Pueblo de Arroyo. And you can see, yeah, that's exactly what they are. So you can see how close they are to the other two. And then there's another one up on the hill over there. So they're all, many of them are in, of earshot of each other. So I'm walking up to the cemetery. Mr. Martini's staying back with the car. This is one thing I was not expecting was to find a cemetery here. So I'm curious to come up here. So there's so actually several people buried up here. Um, there's some unidentified uh, Navajo and um, the trading post guy. walls to I wonder what this wall is if this is part of the Chaco Canyon culture or not and something was walking through here Richard Weatherall his wife and others are buried here Weatherall is a very controversial figure he spent most of his life exploring the region excavating sites and selling artifacts. In 1896, he came to Chaco Canyon with the American Museum of Natural History and started excavating the Great House Pueblo Bonito, which sits right next to where this cemetery lies today. His unorthodox excavating practices led to the creation of our nation's first law protecting antiquities. He turned to ranching and operating a trading post at Pueblo Bonito. Eventually, he was murdered on June 22, 1910. Chris Chilling Begay killed him after a heated dispute. Personally, I find it deliberate. He was murdered on the 1910 summer solstice, a day the Chakwin people were obsessed with. Others in the cemetery are his wife, Marietta, Grace Ethesy, C.A. and Ramona Griffin, and several local native people that are unidentified, amongst others. The Griffins bought the trading post in 1921. C.A. Griffin was buried here in 1969. In 1923, Griffin was appointed the first part-time custodian of the park. Ramona Griffin was the last to be buried here in 1981. She wrote a book about her experiences living in the valley. The trading post has since been demolished and all that is left is shards of glass around the land where it once stood.